Hello there guys and welcome to today's midweek with India charts. This is Muskan Kapoor and I'm joined here with Jay Vora and we are going to discuss as to what happened this week and what we can expect. So a lot has happened in the Indian market as well and even in the abroad market for starters. So let's just get right into it. So we have a fed meet mm-hmm. outcome today. What are your expectations from it? Pivot pivot pivot. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is happening? <laughs> So uh, I think the one important change we might see today will be the tone of the Fed, uh, mm-hmm. wherein you know they will now uh, indicate towards smaller hikes and maybe you know more two or three hikes and they will be done with that. So uh, you know in the previous policy itself, the Fed had indicated the terminal rate of around five to five point two five. And currently, uh, we are at five. Uh, we are at four point two five to four point five. So maybe three more hikes are still pending. Uh, maybe twenty five bips uh, each. So today we might get a twenty five bips. So that would take us to four point five to four point seven five. And I think post that there will be two more uh, hikes. Now, I think market is anticipating that this might be the final hike because the inflation data is cooling off uh, rapidly. But I think it is still around 6.5 right now. And uh, Fed, I think, was very firm that it might take the rates to around 5 to 5.25 levels. That is the Fed fund rates. So let's see what happens. I think the language would be very important. And uh, I don't think they might deviate much from what they have said earlier. Uh, So they had indicated that they would keep the rates higher for longer. And I don't think there might be any change in on that front. So let's see what happens. But, uh, you know, more or less now it looks like inflation is less of a concern for the market. The only thing is that the strong, uh, the strong jobs data, which is there right now, Okay, uh, so ideally Fed wants the unemployment rate to go to around 4.5, 4.7, but it is still very low at 3.5, 3.6 or 3.7, somewhere around that range. So ideally, they want some slowdown. Uh, the Fed does want some uh, slowdown. So the moment they start seeing the unemployment rate also inching higher a bit, and I think that might start inching higher because we have seen a lot of layoffs in the past one or two months. Uh, so I think that data should start kicking in mm-hmm. and we have to see from there how it goes. But I think three more rate hikes of 25 bips each is the maximum, which, uh, you know, according to Fed might happen, but let's see how it goes. Correct. Makes sense. We just have to wait and watch for today and see how this entire thing turns out. Okay, moving on, the volume put call ratio, which was showing extreme pessimism and was indicating that the US markets will go higher or inch higher at any point of time. That entire thing seems to be playing out currently. So what's your point of view on that? And why have the market indexes been very strong? What's your view there? So what's currently happening in the world market? So I'll share my screen. Uh... So, you know, uh, I think a couple of weeks back, we had highlighted this chart, okay, wherein the the put call ratio reading was very high. Okay, this was indicating that there was extreme pessimism, which was there. And, and you could see that at this low, the put call ratio reading was this, okay. And at a higher low, the reading was higher. Okay, which was telling you that there was even more pessimism at the at the higher low. Okay, which was indicating now, you know, for this ratio to cool off, ideally the market should inch higher. Okay. And right now we are seeing US market inch higher. And and you know, that is why this ratio has been cooling off. So so you know, this idea of a deeper pullback is playing out in the US indices. Okay. Somewhat similar setup is there for the Indian market as well, but I uh, but we'll discuss it later. But the whole point was that this this ratio was so, uh, you know showing an extreme pessimism, and that is where if you see the chart, uh, wait, I'll open the chart of the U.S. indices. 
So S and P five hundred, if you see, you know that has inched higher uh, from there, and you know it is now on the verge of breaking its previous high, which was of around four thousand one hundred levels. Okay, so I think once it inches higher above this previous high. You know, the first level to look out for would be for forty one ninety, which is around the upper Bollinger Band, and then uh, you know we might also head higher towards the previous uh, low of uh, previous peak of around three four three two five. Okay, these are the two near term levels to watch out for S and P five hundred, and in fact we had even highlighted for the Nasdaq index also it was crossing the twenty week over here. Okay. And this was telling us that if not anything, then at least we will see a deeper pullback even in Nasdaq 100 index, and that seems to be playing out. So there is still some more room left. But I think if it starts sustaining above this blue line, okay, which is the 40-week exponential average, I think a much deeper pullback will then call out for because what will end up happening is that this entire decline would be one leg, and of this entire decline. We might get a retracement. So at this moment, you know, if I check the retracement levels, I don't think it might have even done thirty-eight point two percent of the entire decline. So the thirty-eight point two percent of the entire decline is somewhere around twelve thousand eight hundred. Okay, which is still eight hundred points away from the current levels. So I think if the Nasdaq index does sustain above this blue line, okay, which is the forty-week exponential average. Then we are headed uh, for even more deeper pullback uh, in the days to come. And and uh, speaking of the other uh, Asian indices, so wait, I have a screen for that on investing. So yeah, so if you uh, if you see the chart over here, you know you can see the chart of Taiwan index, Kospi. If you see. any of the index you know they have been making higher highs i think apart from jakarta index you know which had been making uh, lower highs i think all other indices have rallied significantly and they have all rallied around this october november uh, time only this is basically when nifty i think wait i'll open it in the meta stock so basically when the nifty had bottomed out around this time okay that is where all the asian indices made their bottom and since then they have rallied a lot and india has not rallied much because india had bottomed out a lot earlier okay and now basically what we are seeing is a correction in the indian indices and if you see the global indices you know they are inching higher also because they had corrected a lot as compared to the indian indices so basically a lot of catching up is happening especially after you know hang sang i mean this china hang sang and all they were been i mean there was a lock, lockdown kind of thing uh, because of covid and after they these two economies reopening i think a lot of money has shifted around but i think over a period of time i think this will normalize and and you know ultimately even the indian indices will also catch up and see earlier i i know i mean you know many people might wonder that we were so bearish and now suddenly we are changing stance so there are two to three reasons for that which i'll come uh, across I, i mean in when we discuss about the indian indices but the only point i'm trying to make is that now the trend for most of the indices is kind of you know they are forming higher high higher lows okay so i ultimately expect even the indian indices to catch up because you know like we have highlighted earlier as well you know there is nothing decoupling sort of thing because you know now many might tell that india has decoupled on the downside you know whereas all the other indices are moving higher but it is never like that it is just that you know one of the index will underperform okay but it will not be a uh, you know performance wherein someone is going up 10% and someone is down 20% i mean that usually doesn't happen so at this point of time us uh, the indian indices are more or less flat and the other indices which have fallen a lot they are actually catching up okay so ultimately i think we should also head higher 
not just because the global trend is positive but also because many other factors are also you know falling in place for us correct makes sense while you spoke about uh, the indian indices there's a lot of chaos in the indian indices due to adani group uh, this it suppose so do you agree what is happening what is the situation how much <coughs> is this impact so yes yeah, so now you know because of the adani group i mean being in the news for wrong reasons you know there has been some correction in the indian indices so what is happening is that the main indices is not that bad but you know many of the adani group stocks they have fallen off the cliff okay and they are uh, pulling down even the psu banks and and banks in general because you know the the suspicion uh, i mean the market is suspecting that most of the psu banks must have lent to the adani group and if they are in trouble then you know market always tend to discount things in the, uh, you know um, i mean before the event even occurring you know market would have discounted that so that is what is happening and and also you know there is a lot of fear right now it is not that that even if adani is have to default for some reason i mean it is not that that they will default tomorrow okay but what market tends to do is that it will discount everything the worst case scenario even today and and that is why we are seeing some sort of panic but i think if you ask me in terms of sentiment i think we are probably getting over there because you know now you are seeing the adani panic uh, in the market you know many of the stocks they have been selling off left right and center i mean if you see icici bank uh, all is well over there okay but that has corrected some 20 25% from the high so many of the stocks you know while the index might not reflect that but many of the stocks seems to have seen a very good correction and that is also been uh, you know highlighted from the fact that if you see this data okay so this sir had reported i mean wrote the long short report so wherein we had highlighted now you can see the chart over here right this is the put call ratio of the us indices where yeah. you can see that at the higher low okay you are seeing an extreme uh, ratio okay now somewhat somewhat similar is happening even in the indian indices <coughs> sorry so if you see over here you know at this low okay and the ratio was over here now we are somewhere over here okay somewhere over here and you can see the ratio inching higher from the previous low okay now that is telling you that despite making a higher low the pessimism is even stronger than the previous low okay so at some point of time see this has to correct okay so at what point will it reverse is something that we are all trying to guess uh, based on the patterns but uh, you know each time the nifty is trying to inch higher the the averages are not being taken out and in fact selling pressure is resuming from there so so we don't know as of now at what point will it reverse but we are not that negative okay because as i mentioned earlier that the global indices have started to rally okay which was kind of an headwind for the indian indices that is improving you are seeing some extreme pessimism over here okay in the form of the volume put call ratio which is almost at the highest reading and then now this data i had uh, you know we had updated it yesterday only you can see that whenever we have seen this pink carrows okay that has led to the bottom okay so right now what we are seeing is that the fi's positioning is again you know turning into extreme so normally uh, the total contracts so somewhere around 120 140 these have been some extreme lately i mean uh, you know in last one year earlier around this 80000 90000 mark it used to bottom out okay and and you know we used to get reversal but now the the lowest point i mean the the extent to which the fis are shorting that range has now gone to 120 to 140 in the extreme case and right now we are at 95000 approx net short okay so there might be some more scope 
but even over year if we look at the chart you know this is also telling us that we are getting to an extreme because see if you if you see on the chart you can see that each time <coughs> each time whenever this ratio has come to the extreme you know you have seen a good bounce in the short term okay you can see over here you can see over here see so we are approaching that mark now okay so when i combine the fi's positioning then if i combine the volume put call ratio and then the positivity from the global indices you know all this is telling me not to be very bearish at this point of time because see right now what is happening is that the nifty index is now more or less you know constituted with high pe stocks okay so what is happening right now is that those are all you know either they have turned sideways or they are cooling off slowly so you know itc is at a 52 week low okay but asian paint and all are now approaching towards the 52 week i mean itc is now around the 52 week high but asian paint is now around the 52 week low okay we are seeing this sort of you know rotation within the indices so the idea is to be stock specific and i think uh, the places where there is value okay the places where the stocks are resilient and which have not i mean trading at an insane valuation so those might do well you know like we have seen it now uh, you know take a, i mean it now outperforming okay and which was a huge underperformer last year so these all rotation will happen okay so especially you know now as i think now uh, as we are heading into feb it will be i think 15 months of sideways correction okay which is a good enough correction so typically i think a bear market can last between 15 to 18 months or sometimes it could be 24 months but the whole point is that we are trying we are getting there okay and the most important thing is that this these sentiment indicators are also telling us that there is now an extreme pessimism that is you know creeping into the market so now we have to be constructive okay uh, when will we get that bigger move is something we will figure it out you know once we uh, start seeing uh, that thing develop but as of now the whole idea is to you know see things with an open mind okay so wherever the stocks which have corrected a lot and you know which are a bargain you know we should start nibbling into them or you know we should you know at least keep them on the radar so because also now what is happening is that due to the sideways consolidation the averages are inching higher so so you know at some point of time because see what happens is that whenever the market will reverse it will reverse so quickly that no one will be able to catch the bottom okay but if you have the right mindset i think that will help you to make money so we were cautious all this while because we were seeing some of the risk and also you know many of the indicators were not helping uh, at this point of time but if you see specifically for the nifty index see uh, i mean today's data obviously is not uh, updated but uh, if you see over here so we are actually you know head, we are very closer to the 40 week exponential average which is nothing but you know roughly 100 200 points here and there and this actually tells you that we are around the 200 dma okay so we are actually over there the the weekly cycle is completed you know this was also one of the reason earlier why we were very cautious because the rmi cycle i mean the rmi indicator which is our proprietary indicator you know that had not come back to the zero line you know now actually things are falling in place okay and that coupled with extreme negative sentiment you know that is telling us that maybe if not from here then somewhere down the line we are going to get a sharp reversal so we need to keep our eyes and mind open for that and and you know we'll we'll see how things play out so just you know before wrapping up i'll just tell you what is happening right now see this average the 20 day expo uh, the 20 day average and the 40 day exponential average that is not you know taken out 
even in today's trading session, despite we saw a big up move. So I think these will be the first point. Okay. Nifty crossing above these two averages will be the first point or, uh, you know, wherein we can say that Nifty is showing strength. Okay. And, and after that, obviously the higher high, higher low pattern and all, and that will follow. But, uh, you know, all the sentiment just to, you know, summarize all the sentiment indicator is telling us that, you know, a reversal could be around the corner. It might be over year or it might be 15, 20 days from now. I don't know, but you know, if you are an investor, then ideally you should keep your eyes and mind open and you know, you should be now starting to looking for the opportunities. And, and if you're a trader, then obviously you need to time it. And, and, and frankly, this has been a very volatile move. I mean, if today someone would have told me that we would have been up 300 points and then we would have been down 300 points, I would have never been able to imagine that. But such is the market right now and we have to take each day as it comes. But uh, but yeah, I mean, you have to understand what your style is. Is it trading or investing? But if you are if you are into investing, then surely it is time to be constructive now. And if you are a trader, then you know you have to I think position size yourself properly or you no know, trade less the the volume I mean the quantity should be you know taken down because there is a lot of volatility right now and you don't want to blow up uh, you know in such times makes sense it was very insightful I believe every trader investor would follow what you're saying because it does make sense the market did became like it did go everywhere today even i noted in the especially market. for traders you know it is always that mindset ke meko har bar market mein rehna hi hai. so uh -huh. you know sometimes not doing anything is also a position that is there but yes i mean aise time mein generally volume kam rakhna chahiye because you know due to because yahan pe stop losses hi bade bade ho rahe hai. okay i mean you your reversal points are so big that you know you might end up blowing your account if you are trading very aggressively I agree. So yeah, keep <coughs> all of the things that you said in mind. We will wrap this session up. It was really insightful. And we are looking to see how Nifty reacts, if it touches the highs and where it goes eventually. So yeah, hopefully after this month gets over, Feb, we get a move that is clearer. So hopefully in this month itself and not Feb. Yeah. I'm not Feb. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.